Shut up. I mean, I'm a bongo. So, thanks. So, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that this, other than the fact that, you know, everybody knows that some white people don't like black people. I'm thinking that if the black people set up arms and fight, they are going to fall into the plans of the white people. Because this thing has been systematic. I mean the killing of the blacks. It has been systematic. Like every year, they always bring up placards, Black Lives Matter placards. He said you can't breathe placards. Every year. It has been systematically going on and every time it happens, everybody carries placards and now that people want to start up a revolution, they are going to fall into the trap of these white people. Because these white people have been looking for an opportunity to do the purge. Baby girl, you've watched The Purge, right? Mm. That movie where they, like, they pick a day in, in, in a year and they kill any black person around. Yeah. They've been looking for an opportunity to do that. So if black people take up arms now and fight white people, white people are going to have that opportunity to openly do whatever that they want to do. So... If you ask me, mm -hmm. I would say that any black person who has roots in African countries, yeah, or even though they don't have roots, mm, they have friends who have businesses in line with what they like to do or what they were doing in other countries like America, they can come to that African country mm -hmm. and improve their lives and just focus on their lives. Do you know that if all the black people in America leave America to go to their roots, since Trump has always been saying, yeah, go back home, go back home, they actually go to their roots. Do you know what's going to happen to America? That is the best way to cripple the system. Attack the economy. Because it is the economy that is funding the bullets that the policemen are having. It is the economy that is funding all of the things that they do. And who are the people up till now that is still like slavery because black people are working their ass off in America, working so hard, like living so little? Yeah, they're surviving. They're surviving. Just because, you know, they want better lives. If they leave America and come to any part in Africa that they choose to or that they like. If you have friends in Africa, you can come. Set up a business. Do anything. Remove yourself from the economy. Stop funding the death of black people. Yeah. Because the more you wake up in the morning and you go to work in whatever establishment in America, you are funding... No. These that does not have a voice regarding these issues yeah. it, but if it's just voices they lend to the issues are they really doing anything proactive so okay but majority of american and um, this thing don't value human life especially black human well, life so that's what i'm saying because the more they work for these people, the more they fund the pockets of these people who want black people to die off. So leave. Everybody keeps asking leave to where. This, do you know what I mean? What are you fucking telling me? Use the skills that you've been using to make money for America. Come to another place. It, you're, it's even going to be easier for you, myself. Or maybe harder because it's a tough that you've not experienced. But still, why don't you just try? Please think about it.